Hello everyone, in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple Parallax effect on your website. We are going to be using a front-end based framework called Materialize CSS to come up with such an effect. So when you go to materializecss.com, you will click on this link, getting started, and you will be presented to such a page. What you can do is you can download this and work with it offline or use the content delivery links or the CDNs. So this is what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. I'm going to copy this and paste it in my project here. So that's this CSS file. Then also get the JavaScript file and paste it before the body closing tag. There are people who prefer to put it in the head section, but I prefer loading JavaScript last on the page. So these are the two files that we need for this tutorial, the CSS file and the JavaScript file. Then we can close out this. Now for the images, I used a site called pixels.com. So I went on this website and downloaded some of the pics. So in case you also want some free stock images, visit pixels.com. I'm going to leave the links in the description below. And we can also close that. Now, in my project, let me put this. Let me reduce on this, increase on this size. So in my project, as you can see, I have some images so lion all sunset zebra so those are the images now let us set up a simple web page let us first open this the browser so this is where we are going to be writing the code in vs code so i'm going to create a simple nav with a class of brown they are going to give me a nav bar having this brown color. And this is what you're seeing. This is how simple this framework is. Writing only that to get the outline of this nav. Then let us create a simple div because I want this to be somehow centered. Class of container. Inside it, I'm going to have some link that's going to be going nowhere, but it's going to have class of brand logo and it's going to be thunder wildlife save that and preview it in the browser so this is what we are having so what's the problem here brand i spelled the word brand And this is what we are having. So we are having a simple navbar with this brand logo or the name for Uganda Wildlife. Then that's it. I just wanted us to have that there. Then to create a Parex effect, it's actually very, very simple. So what you need to do is write a simple div here and give it a class of Parex container then inside it you create another div with a class of parallax and it's in this div where you place the image tag so this is the simple markup if you want to create parallax so here we specify the path to the image as you can see index.html is in the same directory with this so we don't have to write a complicated path. We just write the name of the image. So all big. Then the alt text, the alternative text, I'll just write all. But if I save this, you won't be able to see the changes directly in the browser. So for this component to be shown, you need to first initialize it on your page. For this parallax to be displayed so let us come before 
the body closing tag and we open our custom script tags script and inside here we are going to write our simple custom script javascript sorry to initialize those parallax effect always whenever you're writing this have to listen for the document load so document load add event listener and the type of event that we want to listen to dom content loaded so we we'll first want everything on the page to load for this code to be executed so here we are going to create a simple variable so variables are user defined so you can call it anything you want i'm going to call mine parex effect then i'm going to assign it to document query selector all so there are going to be very many divs with this class let us first specify the class of parallax so we are going to be targeting every div that has this class of parallax so this one so what the reason why i put here all it's because there are going to be very many divs if you put only query selector they will always select the first div with this class so when we put all we'll be targeting every div that is going to be having this class of parallax let's close this so here we write the materialize instance m dot parallax dot init so we initialize it and here we pass in two parameters the first one is a variable that you created parallax effect and then it will be followed by options but for this tutorial it's going to be blank or empty but as you want passing options there is another there is a simple option called the responsive thresholds but for this tutorial we're not going to be using it as you can see the moment i saved it it displayed this image in the background so the, the moment you we initialized everything then they are they looked at this div with this class of parallax and they initialized the parallax effect then for us to have the other effect of scrolling so below the image we want to create a simple div with the class of section 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 it's going to be also brown then inside it let us put some h let us put a div the class of container so this div is universal it creates some fixed width of the content then we are going to put some h1 here it's going to be having class of text white or oh, it's white text we want it to be white and we want it to be centered b queen eliza with np national park so if we save that display it here that's what you're seeing on the page then let us put some simple paragraph here and we say paragraph with a class of center so we want it to be centered and we are going to put some fake rollm ipsum text rollm 50 tab they are going to give us this simple paragraph let us also make it white white text we shall put a simple button here it's going to be having a class of btn then yellow say vist so this is what you're having it's supposed to be yellow 
and for me to uh, stop putting these classes of center center I'm just going to go to the parent div this one with a class of container and just put center on everything so everything will be centered in the middle then below this so this is the section that we created we are going to press the same div so for you to master it let us create it again so div with a class of parallax dash container and inside it we create another div with a class of parallax and inside this div is where we put the image source so here I'm going to write lion dot jpeg the alternative text or the alt I'll just put lion so that's it if the image does not load they display this to the browser so when you scroll then we are going to have that simple paradox effect and see but if you can tell these images are too big so there is a simple class that we are going to add everything will be looking fine but let us first concentrate on this effect so you have guessed it right if you want to create another simple content just copy this section and paste it below this image we have to check we shall be having this simple parallax effect you can go on and be doing like that we paste this this time it will be zebra so let us change zebra you can see we are having that let us be changing these names so the first was queen elizabeth then let's put apple we're having that now for the images to be like having the width 100% width we just need to add this simple class to these images class of responsive responsive dash img a responsive image I've added it to the lion let us also go add it to the all save that and this is how it should be looking like first let us add it to the last image which is zebra and save so this is how it will be looking like you have some simple old parallax effect then let us let us duplicate this paragraph so that we get some thing that is large and wide for you to see that experience of scrolling on the page so you see when you're scrolling you can also decide to customize the height of the images when the parallax starts so right now by default it's 500 in height so this is the height of the parallax container but in case you want to control this height you can go and customize it so in the head section here i'm just going to use a simple internal style and i'm going to target this div with a class of parallax container so parallax dash container and here the height by default it's 500 pixels but in case I want to reduce on it I can say 300 pixels save and as you can see they reduce on the height of this image how it's displayed to the user so that's it if you want to control the height and we can put it at 400 as i said by default it's 500 
this 400 looks fine so guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video i will always see you in the next tutorial peace